how to deal with disrespect. Welcome to EFOS Tutor Bytes. It's a moment in your day to explore what matters in your life. And this session is about fostering respect as part of our Developing Character and Values series. So respect is defined simply as how much we give worth and value to something or someone. If your teacher gave you a brand new Ferrari, you would definitely treat it with respect, right? Why? Because it would be valuable, important and worth something to you. Sadly, in life, we don't always treat other people the same way that we treat objects. And that's what disrespect is all about. If you've ever been subject to disrespect, then you know how awful it feels to be devalued as a person. Disrespect can range from ignoring someone, not listening to them, showing up late, interrupting, or even showing up with a bad attitude. It can escalate to talking behind someone's back, lying to cover stuff up, getting angry, or even having rude outbursts. At its worst, disrespect can mean the destruction of property, deliberately bullying other people, and even threats of violent force. At the heart of disrespect, is the idea of treating others worse than you'd want to be treated yourself. So how do we deal with disrespect? Well, before we can deal with disrespect in other people, we've got to learn to deal with it in ourselves. The first thing we have to do is stand up to ourselves. We have to deal with the disrespect we see in us. Sometimes, if we're honest, we can show disrespect in unintentional ways. Maybe we're a bit thoughtless, we act tired or distracted, or we just don't put ourselves in other people's shoes. We might feel angry or upset about something totally different that's gone on before and then we take it out on others in a moment. In these cases, we don't mean to be disrespectful but we have to stand up on our own two feet and say sorry as quickly as possible. We have to decide not to think or act like that in the future. You know there's no excuse for disrespect but we can quickly right any wrongs and get back in the right frame of right mind for the future. Like it or not, if you want respect from others, you have to show it to them first. Once we've stood up to ourselves, we can stand up to other people too. We don't have to let people get away with disrespect. Unfortunately, there's some people in this world who choose to be deliberately disrespectful and try to make other people feel upset and even worthless. They do this through their actions, their words, even either in real life or online. It's quite easy to spot when this is happening because deep down all of us know what respect looks like. But it's less easy to stand up for the person being impacted in a moment. You see, this idea of a bystander is important and sometimes a bystander may not get involved for any number of reasons when we see something happening. We might be fearful about becoming the next target. We don't want to stand out from a crowd. We don't want any drama. or We're afraid to make the situation worse or we don't even know how to help in a safe way. Our desire is to belong to a social group and that can shape the way we think and act towards others, so we just stay quiet. Often being accepted by others feels more satisfying in the moment than stepping out of our comfort zone. But there are a number of ways that we can actually tackle disrespect, even as a bystander, when we see it happening. First thing we can do is actively try to resolve or stop the issue as soon as possible. We can ask for help from parents, teachers or other trusted adults. We can support the person after the event when it's safe to do so. We can work hard to keep harmony in a friendship group. We can set a good example in ourselves. You've got to show how you speak and how you text and how you chat, show that respect. Sometimes we've got to stand up for what is the right thing to do, even if it's difficult. And we can help create a safe environment for everyone by the way we show our respect. Stopping and thinking about the negative consequences of disrespect for both the person who does it and the target, such as a loss of confidence, damage to friendship groups, getting into more serious trouble, these things can be the boost we need to act and not stay silent. So now it's over to you. Why not take some time to think about the ways you've shown disrespect to others in the past, maybe even recently? And how does that make you feel now? Now let's determine to be the kind of person who doesn't show that negative attitude towards others in the future. And think about the disrespect that you see around you. When you see negativity happening either online or in real life, 
Why don't you make a choice today to be the kind of person who will stand up for what is right? In conclusion, if we want to deal with disrespect, we've got to deal with it in ourselves first before we can stand up to help others. Now here's some questions you can talk about in your tutor group. What does it feel like to be disrespected? What are some of the ways that we see disrespect happening on and offline? And what will you do next time you see disrespect in action?